So now, I was digging through my stuff and thought we would just take a quick look at uh, one of the components I got. So this is a 5 ohm resistor, low uh, value of resistance, relatively low right there. And of course it's a lot bigger than a quarter watt resistor because it's a 10 watt resistor made out of cement right there. It's filled in in the back. So this is uh, useful when I want about 1 amp of current. If we put 1 amp of current uh, through here, we got to put 5 volts across it, that's 5 watts, half of the maximum wattage rating, and don't touch this if it's been powered uh, recently, they get really hot. Um, but in any case, I'm going to attach the uh, alligator clips and uh, try to get my finger off of here um, as soon as I do. So it's close to about 200 uh, milliamps of current right there when I get a good connection with one volt across it. I go up to uh, two volts, about 400 milliamps, three volts, uh, 600, four volts, 800, and then five volts. We got about one amp of current going through here. As I said before, five volts across it, one amp going through it, that's five watts of power. You multiply those two numbers together. I always do the wattage in amps right there. Uh, so that's about where we should level off. And I believe it's, what is it, like seven? 0.5 where we finally uh, multiply these two together and uh, we'll have 10 watts I, I can't remember but yeah that would be the uh, maximum so if we had the thermal camera on there um, probably would have seen it get uh, bright uh, pretty quick get a lot hotter so in any case I uh, will use these resistors when I want to get about one amp of current flowing through the resistor for whatever reason got to set five volts across it and um, if I need more current of course I can put them in parallel if I got more than 5 volts, I can start putting them in series until they got 5 volts across them and uh, so on right there. So they're uh, one way you can get, you know, kind of a medium amount of uh, current flowing. Now I do have uh, 6 ohm resistors just because they're easy to get that are 50 watt resistors. So they're bigger than this, um, you know, not massively bigger but a fair amount bigger and they're made out of metal so that probably helps them dissipate heat a little easier again you only like pump them up to like 25 watts or whatever so I do have those resistors um, for like uh, 12 volt systems between 12 and uh, 15 volts whereas I gonna stay about 5 volts across this one right there so um, any case just uh, felt like doing a simple video usually I do a lot more uh, complex uh, covering of you know basic electronic circuits and stuff this is just a single component a resistor but the quarter watt resistors a lot of times you may find that uh, the wattage is way too low right there there's higher wattage options out there not terribly expensive either um, you know not near as cheap as a quarter watt resistor but um, still not too bad you know these uh, maybe are like 50 cents or something um, each and the uh, 50 watt ones that I got were like a little bit more than a dollar, but they also come with wires attached to them and uh, connectors and stuff. So there's a little more than just the resistor. But if you buy them in bulk, you know, it comes down to about a dollar each. But uh, any case, um, still simple video, uh, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen and check out links down below. They all help a lot. I'll see you in the next video.